Hello, good evening. It's Melissa with Miller's Rustic Sawmill in King City, Missouri. I have my hat and my braids in tonight. Um, last time I think I had my hair down and some people weren't sure that they recognized me. So that's been kind of funny. If you're hopping on tonight, um, let me know where you're watching from. Say hi. Tell me that you're on so I know you can see me and hear me okay. I'm gonna wait for some people to join. See where my comments are. There's some. There's Randy Noble. Hi, Randy. Hi, Sally. Hi, Denisa. Hello. Awesome. Hi, Janet. Good evening. Good evening. Randy, I think last time you lost me whenever we lost power. Um, it must have been storming up by you, too. So, hi, Evelyn. Yes, from Alabama, from North Carolina. Hi, Roxanne. Glad you guys can catch it tonight on a Tuesday night. Hi, Bill. Hi, Barb. Awesome. I'm so glad you guys are hopping on. I'm going to give it a few minutes and, and see how many people join. And um, I'm, then I'm going to get started on some stenciling and some stenciling tips. So, um, you looking for the sound? Yeah. Did you find it? Oh, here we go. I do have Bucky, my husband, in the shop with me tonight. I don't have Daisy. Um, Daisy is our little great Pyrenees who's just seven months old. She's not little, but she's big. So, um, oh, hi. Hello from Tennessee. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Emma. Hi, you guys. Oh, hey, Michelle. You're from St. Joe. Um, we're in King City, so you are probably the closest person on here other than maybe Randy. Randy is close as well. Oh, no. Okay. I think we're on. I'm, I got interrupted for a minute, so um, sorry. I yeah, I hit a response to her message. Hi, Deb. Hello. Can you guys hear me and see me? Um, Bucky is not stenciling tonight. Oh, there we are. Okay, good. Hi from Pennsylvania. Hello, hello, hello from Sioux City, Iowa. Hi, Tracy. Hope everyone is safe with the hurricane coming. I know. That's crazy. Um, oh, scary stuff. We don't live anywhere near the hurricane stuff. But I know there are people on here sometimes from Florida so and the East Coast. So hopefully you are all safe. Hello from Buffalo. Hi, Amy. Hi, Sally. Barbara. You guys, I'm excited. Of course, um, tonight we get to give away three stencils again. And um, they're going to be from the fall collection. So um, definitely we can make that happen. And um, I was just, I'm going to do the spooky stencil tonight. I don't know if any of you have that one, but that's what I'm going to be doing on a five foot porch board. And hi Sally, hi Tammy. If it's your first time watching, um, welcome. I'm Melissa with Miller's Rustic Sawmill in King City. And um, I am just, we run a sawmill business. And I use essential stencils to accent our business and to um, increase some of the things that we're able to do with the wood that we have at our sawmill. Marsha, you bought stencils but haven't tried to do it. Oh, yay. Leslie, you keep trying to win. Joanne. Hi, Joanne. Hi, Tammy from Michigan. Lots of people. Oh, Amy, you watched our last video. Yes, you guys, if you haven't watched our last video, on our last video, um, Bucky came on. Bucky is my husband. Hi, Rhonda. And uh, he came on and stenciled with me for the first time. He had never stenciled before, never practiced, never done it. So if you are a first time stenciler and you would like to watch a video, check out the one of Bucky and I on Essential Stencils page because um, it shows a lot and we use all three different techniques. Um, we watch or we use the roller technique and we use the um, brushes and we use the makeup sponges. So um, he did do a great job. He did. Oh yeah, Carrie, you checked out the pictures of our store coming along. Yeah, we are getting there. We worked on it quite a bit. Will you tell us the sizes of wood and where you get it? Um, I think Marsha, is that who asked that? Yeah, Marsha, we run a sawmill business, so we cut our own wood. And um, the size that I'm using tonight is a five foot porch, 
porch board sign that fits the five foot stencils from Essential Stencil. And um, it's about 10 and a half inches wide. So that is the size of the board I'm using tonight. And everything that you see in my videos, um, we get from our mill here. We cut it ourselves and then we dry it. And um, I have the guys, um, I have the guys cut it the size I need it sometimes whenever I'm having them work on some stuff. So yeah, um, tell Bucky he did a great job of picking the winners last time. My <laughs> husband picks the winners. So it's funny. Um, you need to add an alert. I am disappointed. So I missed twice. Oh, Rose, you can always go back on the page and watch on Essential Stencils. Um, they usually have them where you can go to their videos and you can watch any of our videos. So um, definitely do that. But Bucky was awesome. Everyone's given Bucky a lot of love. Good yeah. job, you guys. Thank you. He did good. He did good. He did um, an address sign and we had, uh, oh, what did we have? We had we had a power outage even in the middle of our video, so that was a, that was exciting too. Nancy, tonight I'm using the spooky stencil. Hang on a second, let me grab my packaging, and I'll show you. This is what I'm using tonight. I'll scoot my camera back. Bucky is the best. Awesome. <laughs> um, this is the one. How wide did I say? Um. This board is 11 inches. Mine range from 10 and a half to 11 inches wide, and they are five foot long, and about and about three quarters, an inch, about three three quarters, quarters to, an inch. to an inch thick. So, yay, awesome. Some of you are crafting while you're watching tonight. That's awesome, fantastic. Hi from Alabama. Yeah, I'm, so I'm doing the spooky. I have the... It's October, which is behind me. It's kind of peeking out behind me. <laughs> the dancing, I love it. Um, I guess I can't watch you. It keeps freezing up. I don't, I hope I'm not freezing up on your guys' end. I, I show I'm, I'm going clear here, so maybe, maybe that'll work itself out. I don't know, hopefully. Um, uh, let's see. This is what I'm doing. I'm doing the spooky. And my board is just plain. I don't have anything on it. And I'm going to, in place of my O's, I am going to be using, I'm gonna scoot this back a little bit. <laughs> and then you guys can see maybe what I'm doing a little bit better. Um, <laughs> she, someone said that her husband didn't do as good as Bucky. <laughs> That's funny. Maybe he should watch the video several times until he gets it right. I think that you should just go for that. Um, oh, you guys, thanks for watching. Thanks so much. The Essential Stencil um, people are so gracious, and um, they do a great job of showing so many people um, making these signs and different ways you can do them. So I hope that these work out for you guys to, to do some of the same things that we're doing. Um, the kind of board I'm using is a board from our sawmill. This board is, is this cottonwood? No, sycamore. This is sycamore. Okay, so this is sycamore wood from our sawmill business. Salted. So we have Miller's Rustic Sawmill. And if you're curious about our business, go follow us on our business page. You can ask questions about our business there. So um, if you aren't following us and you wanna know more about our business, definitely go over there and um, you can follow there. So tonight I have the word, the, the spooky, and I'm gonna show you something that um, sometimes people forget to do um, whenever they have some stencils that have, how many of you know what a bridge is on a stencil? Um, I didn't. So how many of you have heard of the bridge on a stencil? The bridge are, the bridge is these little connecting pieces. So this is called a bridge on the stencil. Hi from New York. Hi, Sarah. Um, and then this ghost has some bridges on it too. So whenever you're stenciling, um, something I'm gonna show you tonight with these guys is how to fill in those bridges once you're done. Um, they are not meant to look like the spider has glasses. You can make it look like it has glasses if you would like, but I am going to show you that these little things, after you get them all stenciled, 
um, you just come back in here and you fill it in after you remove your stencil. So I hadn't heard of bridges either, Rhonda, but that's what they are. So a lot of the stencils have them in there and you don't notice them. They look just fine. And so um, you can see on this ghost, it looks like he's wearing a mask or he's got something cut in half here and then he's got glasses on. So to, to remove those whenever you're painting um, and your stencil, you're going to just remove your stencil and fill those in. So sometimes they, they work just fine, the bridges are fine, but you can always fill them in, even on the lettering and different things. If you want them to be a solid letter, just remember you can use them that way. So I'm gonna show you that tonight on, on this sign. And um, I think on that one, they tend to look maybe a little different. So sometimes you don't really notice the bridges and they look just fine, they blend in, they make the letters or they accent certain things. But um, those guys aren't meant to look like they're wearing a, a mask over their mouth or glasses. So I'm just... What's wrong with glasses? Nothing's wrong with glasses. <laughs> nothing's wrong with glasses. Why do they have a bridge there? Um, Leslie, these have a bridge here. Um, because if you have very many stencils from Essential Stencils, sometimes you'll see that they have an overlay, um, like the watermelon in the summer packaging. Um, it had the seeds separately, so you could do them over the top. The bridges are just for the structure of the stencil to hold it together. So instead of having separate eyes and separate nose for, um, for this guy or separate eyes for the um, spider, uh, they bridged them with a little bit of plastic here. And um, you don't have to keep it there. You just take it away. It does look like a surgeon mask. Yes, that's what I was trying to think of. Like a, a mask on or something. So um, I'll show you that. And, and it's not hard at all. So um, Luweda says she's not able to see the comments. Um, I don't know. Have you swiped right? Swipe back and forth? I don't know. I'm sorry about that. Um, how is it that you win? Does somebody want to tell Fiorella how you win? Anyone, anyone got an answer for that? Let's see what someone says. I just want to see if anybody says, can tell Fiorella how to win tonight. Let's see what anyone says. I'm waiting for somebody to say to kiss Bucky's butt. <laughs> and to say nice things to my husband. My husband, hi Amanda, um, is the one that picks the winners while I'm talking and painting. So um, yeah, the, see you guys know, Bucky chooses the winners. It's random, but you need to comment. That's right, stay on, stay with us. Let us see you on here. Give us some hearts. It's all up to Bucky. He is the bad guy or the good guy, whether you win or lose. If you win, he's the good guy. Barbara's <laughs> treading on thin ice. She's uh, treading <laughs> This is awesome. <laughs> yes, we will, I, we will pick the winners um, at the end of the video. So stick with us. Tonight shouldn't be a super long video, but get on Bucky's good side, of course. <laughs> See, they know, they know. I, I don't know what will happen if I ever have to pick the winners because... I need Bucky to choose my winners too. Someone says, Amanda says, lose, I know, <laughs> I know. Yeah, you need, you need someone to pick your winners for you because it's just too hard. The comments just keep going. And Bill, yeah, Bill won last week because Bucky picked a guy. So you just never know. Bucky's the man. Now, <laughs> now we're gonna make his head not fit through the door whenever we leave tonight. Thanks a lot. <laughs> No, he does a good job. I love Bucky. Yeah, <laughs> someone's gonna get on here with a shirt sometime that says, I love Bucky and their little profile picture. We're gonna see it. <laughs> oh, somebody called me Becky. Someone. No, wait a minute. <laughs> oh, it's okay. That's what happens sometimes. I call him <laughs> Becky too. Sometimes I don't mean to, but it just comes out on, on my autofill, Becky. Hi, Bucky, you're a great guy. <laughs> First time watching from Utah. Thank you, that's fantastic. Oh, awesome. Hi, Jamie Brown, I see you on there. There's a few local people. I think our friend Rick is on. Rick Hunts, are you on? Say hi. Um, so I'm gonna just get some paint going on here. And, um, oh, oh, someone's 18 month old loves watching that. you. 
Now that's butt kissing for sure, Jennifer. <laughs> that's funny. No, that's super sweet. I love it. Um, I am just using Anita's um, craft paint. And this is just right here. I'll show you. This is what I'm using. It's an acrylic craft paint. Cheap. You can get it at Hobby Lobby. Um, I think you might be able to get it at Walmart. You can get it half off. Um, you can get it on sale and it's not going to cost you a lot. And a little goes a long way on these stencils. So, um, oh, first time, another first time. Hello, hello. Thanks for watching. Um, I'm going to be using my roller because if you've watched me before or if you haven't watched me, um, I like to use the roller on these larger vertical stencils because um, it just seems to go a little bit faster. Um, there's a lot of room here for stenciling. So if you haven't ever tried a sponge craft roller, this is what I'm going to, um, to use. So you can get this at Hobby Lobby. You can also get one at Lowe's and it's more of a dense, heavier uh, foam roller. So my granddaughter wants to know why Bucky never picks her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys, you're gonna kill him. The guilt tripping. The guilt, yeah, the, the guilt heck? tripping. For sure, that's funny. We have six kids, the guilt trip doesn't work very good. <laughs> yeah, that's true. We have several kiddos, so the, the guilt trip just kind of goes over our head. We're over it. <laughs> oh, Irene, you should get your first set in two days. You ordered the trick or treat. Irene, you're gonna love the stencils. They are top notch, great quality. You are so right, Terry. So um, yeah, take notes, you guys. You can always go back and watch the replay. If we do something that you wanna try, um, get your stuff out and, and stencil with us. So you can always come on with me and get your things out and, and just practice. That's really the best advice that I can tell you is, um, you know, that you just have to go for it. You have to try, you try different techniques and see what fits you the best. The trick for any of the techniques is probably hands down, taking your time and um, not using a ton of paint. You wanna make sure you're offloading your paint. So even on my roller, you can see here, I have pulled it out to my plate and I don't have a lot of them there. Um, the foam density that I'm using, it's a pretty dense roller. So it's not, it's not real soft like a uh, shaggy paint roller. So yes, go for it and try it. I'm gonna show you how easy it is. So I'm gonna start here and I'm just gonna lightly um, stencil and not put a lot of pressure on. Um, Bucky tried um, all three techniques that I show for the makeup sponge, the, um, the roller, and the brush, and he preferred the brushes, right? Yeah. Um, he, he felt like he had more control over the brushes. And I will say I could agree with that um, for the most part. I just think that for the big ones, um, it's, it just covers a lot more space, and I really like, I like the roller for the big vertical signs. So he also showed a trick on our video where he was making sure he was holding it down um, like the center of this P is a little loose. And as he goes around it on in our video, you can see that he's kind of keeping his finger around the stencil as he stencils. So if you're curious about someone stenciling for the first time or you're a first timer, go back on Essential Stencil and watch watch that. So um, that's, that is, uh, we have a lot of good tips on there and you can see someone, you know, if you're worried about stenciling for the first time, you can see somebody on there do it because Bucky did it. You guys can do it. Um, so this is um, the letter S and I'm just going to go ahead and roll this in here and you can do light layers and you can see I'm just kind of going back and forth on here. I've got a fly bothering me. If you've never tried the roller, the vertical stencils on your porch signs, um, these are great for classes. So I have, I think that the roller seems to be a little bit easier for people to get the hang of in a class setting. So um, the brushes, there's nothing wrong with using the brushes, but um, if you're trying to do a two-sided porch board class, if any of you have classes, these work really well because it gets your class moving a little bit quicker. 
And I think in the future, Essential Stencil may be trying to come out with a roller. So, um, yes, you take your stencil down. There. Yes, I did take my stencil down. I didn't show that part. Um, Joyce, I'm doing the spooky tonight. I used white masking tape from Dollar General because I'm out of the painter's tape. Usually I have a roll of blue um, painter's tape and I usually use that. And I've showed you guys before, so like right up here on my board, you can see if you select the comments to the right, then you'll be able to see my board if that's bothering you, um, if you don't want to see all the comments. But I, this comes in your packaging, and um, the ghosts are an add-on in, in the spooky set. So this comes in the spooky stencil, and it's a vertical stencil. So um, these are just a bonus in there that you, I'm going to sub out and I'm going to switch my O's to the spiders tonight. So this little cardboard thing, um, this I sometimes just use it to block off. Like right now, I didn't tape this off up above. So I'm going to lay it down here and then if I get paint on anything, it's going to go right onto that black mat. So I sometimes use it um, in place of taping off. So those are, um, those are really good tricks too, to use every little bit of the packaging that they send you. Um, those little black um, heavy duty paper pieces that come in their packaging, are they come in hand, handy whenever, like if you forget to tape something down, just I always leave them laying out. And then if I need to block something off, I just hold it down and I can stencil right over it. So. Yes, the stencil or this little guy, this works great if you're if you're trying to make multiple signs. Some of you might be getting ready for Christmas, um, Christmas projects or Christmas classes, or um, you know just Christmas sales are coming up. So some of you might be prepping your shops if you sell them um, for for Christmas stuff. So if you're trying to make several porch board signs. These guys, um, you can wash them and reuse them too. So, oh my friend Melissa is on. Hi Melissa. Glad you're on, I haven't seen you forever. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and tape down this guy. So this is the little spider guy and I'm gonna put him in front of, instead of using the O's in, um, in the uh, spooky, I'm gonna use the spider for my O's. And so I am gonna tape that down and then I'll have to move him again because underneath him is the ghost. I am going to use the ghost too. Tell him he'll show how to clean the stencils. And out. someone's asking, someone's asking about cleaning clean them. The stencils. Okay. Yeah, you'll show after. Yeah, I can show you how to clean the stencils. Um, it's really easy. So I'm just going to tape this little spider guy down. I lined him up um, just like I do. I put them end to end whenever I line them up. So I am going to tape that little spider down and I'm gonna make sure I cover my edges here so I'm not going on my board. Um, and those spiders can be used for so many different things too. So um, whenever you get this, if you order the spooky pack and also, um, first of all, don't order anything yet because we are giving away three stencils tonight um, for free and you can pick from the fall collection this stencil is in the fall collection. So um, you might wanna wait until the end to see if you win. But if you do order, I do have a link um, in the header of, in the title of this video, and it is it will save you 10%. So if you're ordering from Essential Stencil, um, go use that link and save a little bit of money too. Um, I did not paint my board. Um, my board is just, clean wood. It's not sealed or anything right now. So, um, and yes, someone said that I do clean them with um, like a disinfectant wipe. And I'll show you how easy that is. They, the paint just wipes right off. It's, it's better if you, um, if you actually do it sooner than let it set for a few days. And the only time I think I've noticed a big difference um, in the paint coming off is whenever I use maybe an outdoor paint or something different than an acrylic paint. Sometimes different paints are a little bit harder to get off than others. So you can see here again, Lynn, you've never tried them yet. You should try them. Um, I'm gonna use this, again, this packaging piece 
and I'm gonna just cover up this ghost guy because I don't want to paint him on here. I'm, I'm gonna do two spiders for my O's and I'm gonna go ahead and do them black. And again, this is where after I take this off, um, I'll show you guys how to fill those bridges in and why it looks like my spider's wearing glasses. He's not wearing glasses. It's just part of the way that the stencil has to be made and um, you just take it off and go back and fill it in. So there's um, some of their stencils are like that, but most of them are not. There's very few that you really need to fill in the bridges. So you can see here I'm protecting the ghost so I don't stencil over the ghost and accidentally have a ghost here. Um, you make it look so easy. I'm loving the welcome stencil. I finally learned that you can spray with 3M glue. Oh, awesome. Yeah, well, I've never used a spray adhesive to stick my stencils down. Um, I know people do. Um, I've never tried it. I just tape them down and then kind of hold them. So how do you know the spacing? Um, I just lined mine up end to end. I just took this spider and I lined him up and then whenever I move him down, I'm just gonna guess, I'm gonna eyeball it. So um, if you are having trouble with the measuring and that trips you up or you get stuck on that, you can measure out, you know, if you need to with a ruler or a tape measure and space them out. But um, I say that most things handmade, you know, they just, they aren't perfect. So I, they don't have to be perfect, but if you are someone who it's gonna bug you if they're not spaced out right, go ahead and measure it out and then you can um, you can see where it needs to go. But I just lined this up, I don't know if you can tell, right here, I lined it up end to end. So um, I do use water seal, Thompson's water seal to spray them. If they're going outside on a porch um, or something, you want to spray them with a, a sealer, sealer like um, you can also use Mod Podge. Um, you can use, there's Thompson's water sealer makes a spray and um, Thompson's water sealer also comes in a big can, a great big jug. So um, this is the Mod Podge spray. You can get this um, at Hobby Lobby. You can get it at Walmart um, and probably some other places. Um, it goes a long way. And then there's also like a, a t what is this? Can you lift oh, that? Sorry. sorry. I know it's kind of heavy. So this is also something that I use. I use this a lot and it's Thompson's water sealer in this great big jug. I don't know how much this is, but um, it doesn't take very much at all. And um, like $35. you can okay. make that go a long ways. If you're doing a lot of porch boards, you just brush it on after you're done. So um, you can put it on heavier. But... Yeah, you can put it on. And then I try to recommend to people whenever they do buy a porch board, if I remember to tell them, um, that they should probably reseal it after, you know, six months to a year just to keep it protected and keep it, um, you know, clean and safe from the elements outside, especially if they're like um, not in a covered area porch or something like that. So, um, out of the sun. Uh, I think you can get the sealer in matte or glossy. And if I'm using the Thompson's water sealer out of that jug, I brush it on. I've also had it in a spray. It's just whatever you prefer. Um, but I do recommend kind of resealing. Yeah, Bucky is here, you guys. Um, he's on the computer, not on camera tonight. Um, if you were hoping to catch him stenciling, we did do that last week, and we may do it again. But I, you can see my spider. I'm gonna go ahead and move this guy down. And you can see how he looks like he has glasses. Right, so you guys see that. Um, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do my other spider, and honestly, I'm just gonna line him up, kind of with his other legs. Um, I'm just gonna eyeball it, make sure that they're kind of somewhat even, and I think that'll be fine. Yeah, we'll go, we'll go for that. And again, I'm gonna cover up up here. And my paint, since it's acrylic, it's pretty much already dry, but um, I'll go ahead and do some of my spider. And again, I'm just kind of, um, the Mod Podge is used for sealing. Um, I'm so afraid of bleeding. Um, you know, you shouldn't have, I hardly have any bleeding if you're just using very little paint. 
So that is probably the biggest um, tip I can tell everybody is just to go slow and um, not use very much paint. Your sound, but not moving along. Um, I think some of you are having trouble with my video. If you guys can see me and hear me okay, just let me know. I hope that you can. Um, see, I got a little too close to my ghost there. So I'm gonna cover this back up with my black board. And I'm gonna go ahead and stencil my spider. And you can see I haven't went back into the paint yet. I haven't dipped back into my paint. I'm still using this. And it's an acrylic um, black paint from Hobby Lobby. It's just Anita's Craft Paint is what I'm using tonight. Um, that's what a lot of mine are, are just the, uh, the cheap acrylic craft paints from um, Hobby Lobby or from um, Walmart. So good, you guys can see and hear me fine. Awesome, thank you. Good, good, good. Um, how many of you have this spooky stencil? Do some of you have this one? Uh, this is the first time I've broken mine out of the packaging. And uh, I, like I said, I did the um, the one behind me, the witch's one, but I haven't, I hadn't had this one out. So I actually didn't realize that it had the ghost and the spider in it. So those are going to be super cute for some other stencils too, I think, some projects me. So I've got my spiders done. Good, good. You can see me and hear me. That's what I needed to know. Thank you. You. And so I don't know if you guys can see, but I used the roller and I'll go ahead and pull off my S and my P and there's very little bleeding here. So can you see that? Hopefully. Um, they look really clean and crisp. I think it's like cut out or something. I think I'm not sure what's happening. Hmm, it's a little shaky. The internet's a little weird. I don't know. I'll just keep going. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do the K and the Y, and then from there, I will show you how to fill those bridges in. And it's the same on the ghost. I'll go ahead and stick the ghost on here, maybe at the bottom of this board if I have room. So I'm going to do my letters and um, it is a five foot board. My husband is telling me your guys' questions because I'm not, I can't read. I'm not good at reading and talking and painting at the same time. So thankfully he was able to come up here tonight again and help. And then he picks the winners. You guys all know that. So um he sometimes whispers to me what people are asking. <laughs> yeah, I was. I was cut, I'm cutting out for a few minutes, you guys. Um, I don't know what's going on with my internet or with Facebook, but just sit tight for a minute because it, it should straighten out. Um, I'm going to finish these letters. And can you believe it's already September? Did you guys have a good Labor Day weekend? Hopefully you guys guys um, got some rest and didn't have to do a lot of work. We were working on our grocery store. We bought an old grocery store on Main Street here in King City. And um, we are rehabbing it into a maker space. And um, if you are interested in learning more about what we do, this is us right here, Miller's Rustic Sawmill. And you can go follow our page. And if you have questions, you can ask us about stuff over there message me and I'll try to answer you back. Um, I get a lot of messages usually whenever we do a live. So um, a lot of people have been asking me about the grocery store and I did put some of our progress on um, our page over there. So you can check that out there. And I uh, love that you guys are following what we're doing. Um, we had some people come see us from Essential Stencil that watch on here and they traveled like hours away to one of our sales. And that was just amazing, you guys. So you guys are a great um, crowd. You're, you're a great community to be stenciling with and for. And um, I'm glad that you guys get on on a Tuesday night to watch us do this and learn a little bit about 
siblings. So hopefully some of the tips that I share and that we give help you. And um, I just would tell you that if you've, if you've not ever stenciled, you've never tried a roller, you've never tried the brushes from Essential Stencil, you definitely should give all of those a try. Um, the stencils are amazing. I'm gonna show you their brushes. These are their beautiful brushes and they are amazing quality. So I will say that, you know, most of you that watch me know that I love a, a deal. I like to be thrifty. I like the dollar store. Um, I like cheap stuff and um, I have a lot of different cheaper brushes, but these things are awesome. They are comfortable to use and, and they are just great. So if you don't have their brushes, invest in some brushes. It'll make your stenciling life a lot easier. They clean well too. So just wanted to show those. I do like to talk about them because I don't use them as much. Um, sometimes whenever I'm doing these lives, just because I'm doing bigger, bigger boards and bigger stencils, but um, they are awesome. And Bucky loved them. He really liked them. Um, Kimberly, we live in King City, Missouri. Um, little small town in Northwest Missouri. Uh, about how many, how many people are hitting this? 900. 900? Only 900 people in our town. Need to try the rollers. Yes, you should try the rollers. So I've got all of these done. And um, I'm going to show you how I fill in the bridges. We were just talking about the bridges a little bit ago. And um, you guys, these are what I'm talking about whenever I say the bridges. They are the little lines that come across this ghost face. And then the spider has them too. So it looks like my spider has glasses on. Let me hold him down there. See? And he doesn't. Um, so we're going to just take some black paint and a little paintbrush and fill it in and call it good. And it's not hard at all. Um, I'll show you how to do it. So don't be scared of that. Um, and I'm just going to use the same little black paint and pick out a small brush. If I can find one I like. I've got a whole bunch of them here. Your town has about 70 people. Um, oh, seven, 700? Oh, okay, I missed that. Um, let me find a brush, I'm being picky. Okay, I'm gonna get a little one here. Just a little tip brush is all I'm using. It's just kind of small. You can use any that you're comfortable with. with. They are still cute with glasses. Thank you, Janine, for kissing Bucky's butt some more. <laughs> <laughs> Bucky wears glasses. So, see, I'm just going to go in here and I'm going to just take my brush and I'm going to fill in my spider so that he looks like he's all whole. Fill in between his eyes and you just need a little bit of paint. It's not hard to do. And it doesn't have to be perfect. It's a spider. So, you know, sometimes I think so many of us struggle with things being perfect or just looking perfect. And in in all honesty, whenever you step back from your board, you're the only one that's gonna know. You're the only one that's gonna figure out that, um, or know that this line had this on it or this didn't go right. Um, most people aren't gonna notice any of your little flaws that you notice whenever you're painting. So yeah, these are super cute. This is a good one to make for sure because Halloween, of course, will be here before we know it. And um, I don't have anything on the back side of this, so I could, I may do one of the fall, like, um, hello, fall, y'all. I've got that one. That's a really cute one. So then you can make it last through most of the fall. Um, you can just flip it around on your porch and you can sell them that way, you know, as a double sided sign. So, my paint's not quite dry, but I'll show you guys how different he looks, or the spiders look, now that I filled those bridges in. So now it does not look like my spiders have glasses. So I could have left one with glasses. So if you have a family that has glasses, you could name them, you could write their names on them. Like I could have put Bucky's name on the one with glasses. <laughs> oh. How are, I like the spider, how are you doing it? Um, the spider is a stencil, it's a bonus stencil included in this whole spooky, the vertical spooky. 
I know it's backwards on your guys' end. Um, I can't flip my camera around because I have an older phone. But um, this is how it looks with the spiders in there for this, the O's. So you can see how that turned out. It's super cute. And um, the ghost is the same way. So yeah, these are all, most everything that we do in our shop um, is kind of reversible. So in this spooky uh, set, you get the spider and the ghost come as a bonus, as does the cobweb. So the cobweb comes in there too. And I'll show you that if I can get it unstuck from some tape, because I had it taped down earlier. So this comes too. So you can use this all along your board if you want to, and you want to make it go over your letters, you could do that. That would be really cool. Um, and just kind of, you know, put it wherever you want, up the sides, um, in the corners. The, the cobweb is super cute. So um, you could get a lot of use out of that along with, you know, the spider, even doing the spider on top of it. So if I wanted, I might, you know, I might go back up here to my spiders and I could um, drop the cobweb in kind of like right up here on top of them and um, make them look like they're hanging from a, from the spider web kind of at an angle. And I, you don't have to use the whole, the whole cobweb part, you know, you can just space it however you want. Silver web would look good. I agree, Betty. I was trying to decide what colors to use, and um, I'll show you what I'm gonna do. I don't know if I have silver. I have silver glitter, but I don't know if I have silver paint that will show up on this. You can look. Um, it didn't take me long, Tony. It didn't take long at all. Um, the roller seems to go quite a bit faster than the brushes. Um, so that's definitely something to consider if um, if you're somebody who likes to move your project along a little bit faster or you're needing to get several done the roller on your vertical signs um, helps that quite a bit it's good for classes um, so yeah someone said silverweb would look good and it would look good like right here I'm thinking about dropping that in Bucky is looking for some silver paint I'm not 100% sure I have any but while he's doing that uh, I am going to show you this ghost guy because he's the same way with the bridges in here. He looks like he's wearing someone's a surgical mask. And, um, you know, I'm going to pop him in down here at the very bottom, I think, and kind of put him in the corner at an angle. And I think I'm going to do him in white. So he's just kind of sitting down here at the bottom. And, and then I'll show you how to fill in those bridges. Um, thank you, Ingrid. That's very nice of you to say that I, I make them look so good. I, I hope that they look good. Um, I don't always plan them through. Sometimes I just start going and then I decide as I go. Oh, okay, I'm gray. I don't know how well it'll show up, but we can try it. That one might work. Oh yeah, the glow in the dark would be good. And um, I don't know that I have any glow in the dark paint either. I think I did at one time. But I don't know that I do now, actually. So I'm just taping this out. I think, Joanne, um, the Essential Stencil is going to send out a list. Um, earlier, I didn't have all of my stuff on there um, for them, but um, hopefully, uh, right after I get done on here, uh, they can send, send that out. So um, I'm going to... Could you get me another plate, please? Or two? Oh, am I still there? Yeah, there you go. You want the set, Debbie Davis. If you want the set, um, make sure that you use the link so you can save 10%. So um, you're gonna wanna save anytime you order. Um, everyone wants to win. Have some fun with that, Irene says. I know, who doesn't wanna win? You guys, and it is it is hard. You know, that's a hard job. I'm glad that he gets to pick because um, I would have a really hard time struggling. How come Bucky is not stenciling tonight? Um, I don't know, why aren't you stenciling tonight? It's not happening tonight, maybe He's, next time. He said maybe next time. 
He's not in a stenciling mood tonight. I'm not a camera person. That's not what he said. <laughs> I'm, but not a, I'm not a camera person. He says he's not a camera person. You did just fine on camera. So I'm going to use this other roller for this one. I'm just pulling a little bit of white paint. I'm going to make my ghost white. And I just dropped my roller. It just popped off. I didn't have it pushed on all the way. <laughs> Whoops. Actually, I don't know. It seems to be sticking a little bit, but I think it's just not been used for a while. So I'm going to roll on. No, it just keeps coming off. I don't know why, but I'm going to keep popping it on. It'll be okay. My ghost can look bad and spooky. It'll be fine. What? Yeah. I don't think he's not going to look bad, but again, I'm going to show you those bridges, you guys, um, and how you can fill them in. So something is up with my roller. I don't know what's going on with it, but I'm still using it. It's fine. Did you get rid of your puppies? Kathy, we still have Great Pyrenees puppies to get rid of. We have several. So, hmm, you know, if uh, anyone lives around here and would like a great Pyrenees puppy like our Daisy, we have small ones that are available. So um, we would love to have them go to a good home. We have quite a few of them left that need a good home and they are the best dogs ever. Um, Daisy is only here, t not here tonight because um, she was up here for a good part of the day and um, one of our kiddos is at home with her, I'm guessing, Carson. Yeah, Carson. All the kids are. So she's probably happy to be home tonight. Um, is the roller better than a sponge? I think it's just personal preference. Um, if you go back and watch our video of Bucky and I stenciling last week, um, hey, Bucky, you have to show your face for those that don't know what you look like. <laughs> There I'm all go. scruffed up tonight. I will in a minute. He says he will in a minute. He's a little scruffy tonight. Um, I think it's a personal preference. This roller is, this one is from Hobby Lobby. I sometimes use one that I got at Lowe's, and this is what the end of it looks like. I think it's a personal preference, you guys. I think that you just need to um, practice all of the different techniques and Find what works the best for you. If you have any of um, the mini stencils that are smaller, square, the six by six, um, you'll notice that some of those spaces are small. And those makeup wedges that um, we use, and I use quite a bit, they work really, uh, really well for small spaces. So um, you might try, I would recommend trying all three. Um, most, uh, you know, if you've got the brushes from Essential Stencil, try those. They work really well. You want to offload your paint. Same with the makeup sponges. Same with even the roller. I don't have much paint on here. So, um, just make sure that um, if you don't know what you like, just try it. And don't be afraid to try. Um, get out all of them. Get out some different size stencils and start making some stuff and see what happens. That's how you'll know um, how much pressure to put on the roller. That's how you'll know um, if you you know like the makeup wedges or the brushes. So um, do you offload the paint? Yes, I offload all of my techniques. Usually with the roller, I'll take and um, I'll show you. I, I'll have a little bit of um, paint right here and I take it and I kind of just pull it out like this and I just make sure that I roll it off really well and I don't have a lot of paint on here. So, um, did you hang your number sign for the milk? We don't have it hung up yet, Betty. But uh, we will, we were gonna get it up. We were busy working on the grocery store all weekend. So we didn't get anything done up here. But there's my ghost. Okay, so you can see, um, the ghost does look like something off Pac-Man. Um, <laughs> that's so funny. It's true. So you can see he totally looks like he's wearing a surgical mask and glasses. So he's going to look better whenever we um, 
fill that in. So I'm gonna take again a little brush, a little bit of paint, because sorry I'm making the table shaky. Um, it won't take much. And again, I'm just using Anita's acrylic white paint. This is what I'm using. Yes, offload, offload, and offload. And um, maybe just slow down. Some of you have heard this story that I've told about the very first time that I got the stencils in the mail. I was so excited to make a sign and I read the instructions. You guys, Essential Stencil has instructions in their packaging for stenciling. And so I, um, I started stenciling and I was just going so fast. And I thought I was doing it right, but I, I just wasn't. So you wanna make sure that you slow down whenever you're stenciling and you take your time. He is funny looking. It's because um, there are what's called bridges on those stencils. Um, the stencils are made on this one. So because just for the uh, purpose of getting the stencil made um, and for holding it together, that's why it looks, it does look like a superhero ghost. That is, that's a good way to say it. But once I fill in um, the bridges, it won't. So you're gonna see that I'm gonna kind of fill this in and make him a little bit kind of blended into what, I'm, what I've already done. And um, it'll just fill that and it'll go away. So I could make him look like a pirate ghost. That's, yeah, you, can, that you can be so creative um, with these guys any way you wanted to. Um, he does totally kind of remind me of a Pac-Man ghost too. I like that. <laughs> I love Pac-Man. It is relaxing. It's relaxing if you're not stressing about it. And that's the thing that you want to make sure, you know, that you just don't stress over it. If you don't stress over it, then it doesn't seem like work. So I don't know how many of you do paint parties um, with stencils. I don't know if any of you do, but um, we have some paint classes up here in our shop sometimes and um, I've had the welcome uh, the welcome board classes and um, that's how I got started ordering the um, essential stencil stencils was for some welcome and porch time classes so if you are looking to start something like that in your town or with your friends or girls or whoever um, as a side business um, this is where you want to order your stencils because um, they are very durable. They clean up well, reusable. You can share them. Um, it's just, they're just an awesome company to order from. So you haven't done a party with stencils yet. Yeah. Really want to do some classes. I think I get some messages from some of you sometimes. And, you know, I try to encourage you guys to try that stuff. And um, another thing that I like to tell people um, whenever you're watching is that if you haven't ordered and you're wondering kind of what to order, um, I, you know, depend, it just depends on what you want to do. If you're making them for fun, and you order what you like. If you're just making them for your home because you want a stencil, whatever you want to do. If you're wanting to hold some parties, I would totally recommend um, the vertical stencils and um, you know, maybe mixing it up with a few different kinds and um, see what happens from there. And then you can keep adding to them. Yeah, you're, it does count. My girlfriend, my girls and I do do it, if that counts. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, I would love to get good enough to have paint parties. Um, you know, the people that come usually here have not ever stenciled before. So if you can just watch the videos enough on here, you know, Essential Stencil does a great job of providing a lot of great teachers just by videos on their page. So you have a whole um, video collection of girls on this page that do stenciling. And guys, Bucky, I'm kidding. We have guys. I mean, ever... but yeah, we do. You know, I mean, they, they don't have any guys on here stenciling other than Bucky, but I'm just, I'm joking. I mean, you know, I'm not, but you have a whole catalog of people to watch from. And so that's what I was saying. Um, if you're looking for, um, you know, someone to learn from, click on their video, spend some time watching it, take, um, take all of the advice, take all of the helpful hints 
And, um, you know, if you're looking to create something more with um, a business part of it, you're definitely watching uh, the right company because Essential Stencil uh, makes it very easy for you to put that stuff together with just their product alone. So oh, yeah, we do the couples knots. So yeah. Big. Yeah, we have. We've done some um, what we would call date nights and couples nights here. And um, it's, you know, it's just about getting out and doing something together sometimes as a couple. Um, and it doesn't matter if, um, if you're a guy or a girl. So they, we have a lot of couples that enjoy coming and doing. You can see I have filled in my ghost. So, um, Sarah, how do you know? Uh, it's up to you. If you're the one doing the class and you've got a space that you can put five people in, I would recommend getting um, three welcome stencils and three of something else. Um, the Christmas or whatever and so then um, if you've got five to six people some can be doing one stencil and you just kind of split them all so while three people are doing the welcome stencil the other two are doing the Christmas stencil or whatever stencil you order and um, then they swap so it's just a matter of sharing instead of investing in all of them all at once and enough for so many people um, I just kind of started that way with mine and I, you know, I had some parties and we have space for maybe, um, porch boards, maybe eight people in here. And so that's about the limit for us as far as porch boards. So, um, how can I watch your cruising for cure pumpkin truck? Um, that video is on essential stencil. You can watch on there too. And I did a pink truck for, um, October for a um, silent auction and um, we're gonna donate that and I did it all in pinks so if you're curious about that it is on all of our videos are on the essential stencil page so um, that is that and you can see that I filled in those bridges so pay attention to that if you are getting this stencil tonight or you're gonna order it for um, your use uh, remember those bridges you just take a brush and fill them in and um, call it good. Not a big deal. Um, some were oh, someone to wanted that. to see that board. Okay. Several of them. Let me show you. So this was the one that I did on another video and it was the truck. So um, it did, I did add some bling to it. I added um, this little ribbon. I just did that by hand. If you can see that. And it says, um, in honor of and then if whoever buys it at the silent auction they can put in whoever's name they want to down here so um i had this this is just some glitter ribbon or rhinestone ribbon that i had in my crafting stuff and i um put that um just glued it on here with some glue wood glue and then these are just little letters that i had that i painted and i glued them on there and it says faith hope fight and I tied on some cute ribbon. So it did turn out really cute. For those of you that were watching, it was I left it unfinished. Um, but I did add some more glitter and I just kind of blinged it up a little bit. It turned out super cute. So um, that's another spin on that truck. If you haven't ordered the truck, that truck, I'm going to use it all through Christmas. I'm not going to, there will be some things that I'll use that truck for. And I'll use probably some Christmas trees from the mini stencil and put them in the back of the truck. You can you can mix and match your stencils once you start um, getting a collection of them and just picking up some here and there. So if you're watching the videos and you don't have very many of the stencils or you don't have any of them, you gotta start somewhere. Um, if you if you're wanting to get started with some stenciling. Um, pick something out that you love and pick something out that maybe is versatile. Um, they also have a letter set, so um, that's, that's pretty cool too. You can spell anything you want to with that letter set. So I'm going to take, somebody suggested doing this in gray or silver. I think I've got some silver here. So I'm going to show you while you're on here still. Um, and I don't, what time is it? Only nine. It's only nine. Okay. Hey, it's only been an hour. You guys, are you impressed? <laughs> I, I have almost the whole board done in an hour. That's not bad. Not bad. Where is Bucky? He did great. Um, 
he is over here at the computer. That's where he's at right now. He's just sitting here watching, watching all the comments, seeing what you guys say. So he can see that. <laughs> there is the link for the cruise and for the cure um, pumpkin. Um, if you guys want to watch that. The truck is essential stencil. Yes, it is. It's in their fall collection. So if you win tonight and you have not gotten that truck, um, you could win that as one of the stencils of your choice in the fall collection. So sit tight. Um, <clears throat> how many of you love the truck? Let me see some hearts if you love the truck. I love the truck stencil. Oh, Lavana, that's cute. Snoopy. <laughs> The truck sign looks great. Thank you. Thank you. There's some hearts. There's some hearts for the truck sign. Hey, y'all got a crush on Bucky. <laughs> Carol, they just want to win stencils. Okay. I'm going to use the silver. I think it's silver. We're going to find out. It looks a little gray. But I do have some silver glitter, so... Love that your videos are longer. Oh man, Tara, thank you. You just made my day. I'm gonna open this with my teeth, sorry. It's not been opened. So this is a chalky finish and this is Americana Decor. Um, I don't see a color. I guess it's called Yesteryear. Um, I'm gonna try this for the spider web and then I think I'll probably use, oh, I'm gonna shake it up first. I'm dying to have the gather thankful and blessed. Yeah, that's a good one too. It's, it's pretty versatile. You can do a lot with that too. Love the truck, love the truck. The truck is super cute. That's a very popular one. So I'm gonna use a makeup sponge on this. <clears throat> um, yeah, I can cut that off. So um, if you haven't used makeup sponges, these are just the wedges from um, Dollar General. I get them in a package of like 100 for a dollar, I think. And you can always, this one's dried from something else that I did. You can always cut the end of this off and you've got, voila, a clean makeup sponge. So you can get several uses out of these. So I'm gonna take this and I am going to offload on here. You can see I'm offloading most of my paint and then I just pounce around it, make sure you don't have very much paint. And then I'm gonna go onto my spider web. You wanna see how I glitter. Well, I'll show you. Um, I use decoupage usually on my glitter. So I'm gonna, whenever I dip back into my paint, you guys, I'm not dipping back into this big blob of paint. I'm just dipping right into here where I offloaded. So that's a trick too. I got my free supply list from Essential Stencil last week. Oh, good, Elizabeth, awesome. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, the makeup wedges work really well for the small spaces. And this um, spider web is kind of smaller stencils. And you can see I'm also holding it down um, just to make sure. Like Bucky showed you guys in the video last week, if you were on, he kept his finger kind of close to where he was stenciling. I don't always do that. I think it's, I think everyone has their own style. So, um, but he, he did that and he had hardly any bleed through on his stencils. So this one is a little bit bouncy. Sometimes your, your stencils, you can kind of tell if they are um, loose where you're stenciling. You just take your fingers, you're gonna get, probably get some paint on you, but it washes right off, so don't be afraid of that. Thank you guys for watching, awesome. I'm glad you guys are on tonight. I didn't know, I don't do very many on um, Tuesday nights, so I wasn't sure who would be on or how many people would be on, but we got a lot of people on, so thank you so much. And if you'll share this video, oh my goodness, we appreciate that too. Share the love, share with your friends, um, give us some likes and shares, and um, we'll just make this video go viral. <laughs> You know, we have a lot of people on our videos, so I think that's awesome. There's a lot of people watching tonight. Um, we do appreciate any of the shares that you guys give us and any of the hearts, any of the likes. We get to see all of that. So, um, Essential Stencil, sometimes 
I get messages from them telling me how good our video did or, uh, you know, it's just, but it's not because of us, it's because of you guys and um, all of the feedback, all of the comments, all of the likes, all of the shares. And um, I really am just trying to help you guys out with your stenciling. And then also, you know, we get to give away some, um, some stencils. So that's always fun. And whenever um, you guys order, if you wanna order, you also get to save 10%. So it just is, it's fun, you know, to be able to do that, to be able to come on here and do something that we do in our shop. And I, I've learned to do and learned to love because of Essential Stencil Products. Um, it's definitely, definitely made a difference for our business. So, um, see them on our page too. yeah. And if you, if you ever want to learn more about us, um, and what we do and who we are, you can follow us on Miller Rustic Sawmill. I do live videos over there too. Um, I've been doing some live videos up at um, the grocery store we're rehabbing. And if you have any business questions over there on our page or about what we do, definitely um, go follow us there and, and you can do that. But um, what is my discount code? Um, it's at the top. I have a link in this, um, in this video. So you can go up to the top and you can click on that and it'll take you straight to ordering and you'll get a 10% off whenever you order. So um, thank you guys for sharing. That's fantastic. Oh, Joyce, you're so sweet. You guys are so nice. Oh, you used the 10% off earlier today, Peggy. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I keep looking. I'm trying to read. Mary, oh yeah. And then you guys start giving each other advice on here. So not only are the tips that I share helpful, but there are so many people on here who stencil and have tried it too. And you guys always have a lot of good feedback for each other. So I think that that's awesome. So I just used part of the spider web and it looks really cute. I'm gonna show you that whoever said silver or, uh, you know, that's more of a gray maybe, but that was a good call, good call. I like it. Um, someone said, I wanna see how you glitter. So I'm gonna show you how I glitter. You can see how that turned out really cute right there. Um, so I have, let's see, love your video and really love your wood piece. Thank you, Mimi. I do have some silver glitter right here. Um, and it's just older than dirt. To be honest, I've had it forever. So this brand, it looks like I got it Hobby Lobby. I don't know how long ago, but you can get different you know, glitter there, all colors and stuff like that. So I'm gonna show you how I glitter. Um, I tried putting some glitter on my stencils and um, it cleaned up fine, but I have found that with Mod Podge, um, I like to do it with a brush um, and go back over it after I get done. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do that. So this is just Mod Podge, it's like glue. It's gonna dry clear. So I'm going to show you how I do that and we'll make this glittery on here and I'm just going to go nothing super neat. I'm just going to add some glue. I know, whoops, I just totally got it all over. It dripped it, but that's okay. I wiped it off. Um, I'm just going to kind of go down the line of this and try to do it quickly before it dries and then I'll put some glitter on here and I'll just shake it on there. Um, you don't have to get it perfect because it's glitter so it's going to look cool anyway no matter how it comes out. Um, I am making sure I get enough on there so that it's going to stick because I don't want it to come off. So we'll see how it does. I'm trying not to cover all of that, that gray color because I kind of like it. And I could have left some of it actually, so it looked in here it kind of will. Sorry, I'm not even looking up. <laughs> I don't know, I'm sorry you guys. I'm trying to, I'm concentrating on my, my glue. Um, but that's cool, okay. So I'm about to get my glue on here. And it's not glue, I keep calling it glue. It's Mod Podge. And that's what's gonna stick my glitter down. You probably could totally use spray glitter. I don't have any um, spray glitter. I don't use glitter a lot, actually. Um, 
not for any reason, but I just, I don't use it a lot, it seems like. I thought about glittering the spiders. I think the spiders, I don't know if they make a black glitter, but I thought that would be cool if you could glitter the spiders with something like a black glitter so that it just kind of blended in with them. Oh yeah, that's, well, I have done it another way where I have um, actually um, taken and stenciled, left my stencil on and put the glitter right on the paint. But um, I, I've learned that I think that the glitter sticks a little better whenever you use the Mod Podge. Um, so I just kind of go, I'm going over it and you can see I'm not doing a super neat job by any means. Um, I'm just kind of slapping it on, but I'm going to make sure that it is um, wet while it's on there. And then I'll shake it on and then I'll show you how cute it looks on there. I think the the silver paint, like a sparkly paint, would have been so cool. So I don't have silver. They do make black now. Yeah, that would be cool. I would like I would like to glitter my spiders. I think they would look super cute. But this web will look just as cute. So I'm just gonna cover it with glitter. And then we'll get to shake it off, which is always kind of like taking off your stencil. It's the fun part to take it take and shake off all the glitter and see how it looks. Kids like to do glitter crafts for sure. So a lot of times whenever I do the glitter crafts or something, I try to bring a cookie sheet. So then you can do the glitter on a cookie sheet if you're doing a small project with kiddos and um, you capture all of that glitter and then you can reuse it, so. Okay, so there we go. I'm gonna just shake it off and tap it because it should be set on there. And there we go. Look at that spider web, you guys. That turned out cool. <laughs> I like that a lot. Yeah, that is cool. So I think I may have to get some glitter for those spiders. I think that they would look really cool glittered. But that looks neat. So I used um, that gray paint for my spider web and just some silver glitter. Yeah, I love that too. So great idea, whoever said, can you show the glitter? Um, I had it sitting on the table because I thought I might use it somewhere and yeah, that looks pretty cool. Um, yes, I will seal this for sure. I will probably spray the glitter with a sealer and then um, check it and then I may brush on some sealer after that. But I'm afraid if I brush the sealer on, I might knock some of the glitter off too. But I'm gonna let that dry for sure before I do any sealing. I know you guys, it turned out really cute. So those of you that are looking at this tonight, um, on the spiders, if you have them, um, I filled in the spots between the eyes and on the outside of the eyes where they are called bridges or they're just, they're just pieces of the stencil and it's just how they have to be made to get this look. Well, after you take the stencil off, I showed how you can fill that in and it just cleans them up and makes them look like spiders and the same with the ghost. So I put him down here at the bottom peeking out and um, I probably, I might um, write boo or something over here too. Um, sometimes I just have to step back at, and look at the boards for a little while before I uh, finish them. So sometimes I leave them, but a lot of times I try to add little touches like I may come back in and I'll probably add some more of those webs because that just dresses it up. I love how that looks. So I think I could add some more glitter to this board in a few places. Even on my ghost, or I could maybe make a border around my ghost with some glitter. So I might do that, actually, and see how that looks real quick. So I can show you guys that, because it won't take long either. Um, if you can see my ghost down here in the bottom, I'm going to just take a little bit of this, and I'm going to outline him. And um, then I'll shake some glitter on that guy, too. So I've got glitter kind of in the middle of my board and I'll have a little bit of glitter around this ghost. And I'm putting this on kind of thick um, because I don't want it to dry before I get all the way around. So I've got a little bit larger brush, but you could do however you want. Yes, someone said I could add the black eyes to the ghost. I totally could do that. That's a good idea. 
make his eyes glitter. Ooh, that's a good idea too. His eyes and his nose. That is a really good idea. I might do that. We'll try it and see how it looks. I like whenever you guys throw out ideas. That's great. So I'm just going around him right now. Whoops. Dropping it on him. Uh, he'll look cute dressed up. So if I had the black glitter or um, the clear glitter, that might look cool too. And someone I just saw said that you could add wiggle eyes. Yeah, that would be cool. The, the ones that you could just glue on and they would shake. That would be cool. Um, the letters do have bridges, you guys, um, but um, you don't have to fill in the bridges. You can if you want to for a different look. I'll show you those in just a minute. Um, most of the stencils, are it's really not noticeable on, on your um, stencils where the bridges are. So um, I think that if it hadn't been pointed out to me, I don't know that I would have ever thought to fill them in. So, oh, purple glitter. That's a really good idea. Um, I like that idea a lot. Um, I don't have purple glitter, but that would be cool. I've got some rose gold. <laughs> I don't think that would look good on the ghost. Oh, thank you, Abby. Yeah, purple glitter would look really good. Um, you could get pretty creative with this board and make it... Um, I've seen some of the girls use glow-in-the-dark paint and um, that's cool too. So you can get that at Hobby Lobby and I know you can get it at Walmart. But um, I don't have any of those other colors tonight. So I'm gonna go back around this guy, which is some silver, and see what happens. And then I think I might glitter his eyes too, because I like that idea. Just wanna make sure I have enough glitter to do this. But you could get really creative and crafty with these pieces and these add-ons. And you could just make a ghost sign all by itself. So um, that's the beauty of the stencils is that you can um, you can get creative on your own and you can separate the pieces. Um, you can make them, uh, you know, their own sign. So I could just do just a ghost sign if I wanted to. So I'm going to do a little bit of glitter and I'm going to make my ghost kind of looking the other way, like out the side of his eyes. So I'm just going over half of his eyes and I'm going to glitter that in just a second. So we'll see what that looks like. If you get out your Mod Podge and start playing with glitter, you might just go crazy with it because it is kind of fun. So let's see how this looks. I think it's gonna look cute. Okay, you guys ready to see him? Orange glitter would be cool. I did have some orange glitter. Um, I thought about doing that around my letters actually tonight. I've got this, it's not orange, it's actually this copper color. And I think that that would look cool. Um, also now with the silver glitter, I think it would look neat around the letters. So I like that idea. Okay, ready? Let's see how he looks. Does he look cute? I can't even see him, so I'm gonna show you guys first. Oh yeah. He's so cute. Look at that. Yeah, he turned out really cute. Yeah. When in doubt, glitter. That's right. <laughs> you know, um, something else that is funny about the glitter is that it's it's very like if you feel like you've got a lot of um, bleeding around your letters or something. Um, you can always outline them with glitter and it's gone. You cover it up. So um, just keep that in mind. And yeah, he turned out super cute with that glitter in the eyes. So I could, I could leave him just like that. I could also take him and I could outline his little eyes with some black if I wanted to. But I think I'm gonna leave it just like that. He's pretty cute. And he looks kind of spooky. Yeah. So that is, that's a good, that is good. Glitter is very um, forgiving. So like I said, if you've, so, and here's, so you can see in this letter, this is the, what would be a bridge in your stencil where this white is showing through or my board's showing through. If you wanted to fill in all of these little lines, you can, you can do that. It's 